I've been saying I'm sick of talking about it, so forgive me, I'm not going to wax lyrical about it. I'm, I'm just looking forward to getting playing now, because it's been four months and I seem to have been everywhere and I've spoken to everybody. I'm not sure there's any questions, I'm sure you'll prove me wrong, I'm not sure there's any questions you can ask me that I, I can really answer any differently until we've had a game, so I'm really looking forward to playing. Hi, Vic, Stephanie from GBC. Uh, would you say this is an ideal first match for you? Uh, you were sent to Republic of Ireland and gave it to Rolls as a low ranking? I, uh, I look at it as a lot of and it's a game that we have to come and play. I don't think it's. Uh, I get the question you're asking me. I've just been watching them and uh, I know what strength they've got, what. Well, I'm hoping they've got some weaknesses, of course. But I, I respect the opposition and we're playing, and it's a game that we have to be really on the, on the top of our game to make sure that we do everything properly uh, and play as well as we can. And we, I respect the opposition, choose who they are. So I don't see one as as good as the other. You know, I remember taking my final campaign in the World Cup, and I accepted that we were going to play Holland and Portugal away. And I went there and got two good results. So. Whatever comes, you just deal with it. Thanks. Pleasure. Okay. Any questions, Tony? Nick, can I ask you about the, the conditions? We were here last night and the wind was extraordinary, actually. It looks like there's been a weather warning as well. So, along with the artificial pitch, that's to deal with the wind, how are you going to manage that? You are aware that we play our football, so, you know. <laughs> you know we, we're, uh, we don't play in ideal conditions all the time in terms of weather. Uh, bear in mind that I've started at Barnes and been at Sunderland and been to Glasgow. And, uh, and that's, yeah, that's nothing that concerns me. I can't do anything about that. that is, it is what it is and we'll just get on with it. You did mention before when you looked at the pitch how important it was that it gets water. Have you asked them about that? Yes, apparently they, they'll water it for an hour before kickoff, and we ask for the same conditions. And I have to say, they've been very gracious in their hospitality. The developed uh, association that looked after us really well when I met them the first time I came over. I just anticipated we're just the same as we're going to see tomorrow night. Um, it is, it just is what it is. The fact that uh, Seamus is with you, does that mean the, uh, the captain's aside tomorrow? If he's playing, he's going here, he'll be captain. He's starting tomorrow, yes. And when you've looked at uh, Gibraltar, their recent results, um, for them a very positive result, of victory against Armenia and Liechtenstein, um, what sort of things did you see in the, in the video? Uh, I saw a really committed team, and I've, I've been seeing them, you know, uh, uh, the coach is saying that I'm listening to they've got games now at home which is vitally important they're not playing somewhere else so I'll be a sense of pride playing the first European Championship competition here for qualifying um, extremely well organised uh, there's some good technical players in there they have uh, Cipollino as a throw in that makes mine look a short one and uh, Walker, the free kick and corner specialist, doesn't waste too many, so they're, uh, they're a capable team, they've got some good players. The result uh, has extended in Scotland, did that kind of send alarm bells for a three of a team that's on paper at least in a FIFA ranking? Um, My plastic, you mean? <laughs> My hot paper. Uh, they're all games that we've, we're really well aware of what can happen unless you do things. Uh, no, you know, that's a bit unfair because I, I know Alex, I know he'd have gone across and he'd done everything properly and they got a really bad result. So I think if it's anything, it's a, it's a start warning to us that what can happen. And finally for me, same as your last time around as Irish manager, the Irish fans have uh, come here to support you in numbers. Um, they'll be at least 800, but we're told. Uh, how much of a boost is that to you and, and to you? It's a huge boost for us. I think it's, it's been really... I've been delighted with the, the support and the goodwill that has been shown towards us. 
Uh, I think people are looking forward to getting back to watching games. Um, and so what we've always had, everywhere we've, we've gone, it's been fabulous. And I know that I've talked to people who travelled on the plane that came out and say now, how they entertained everybody. It was just great to be sat on the plane with Irish supporters coming out. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, trying to entertain them tomorrow. I always produce a win for them. Seamus, a, a big game for you tomorrow, 50th cap. Did you ever think that you would get there? Um, uh, no, probably not. You know, like a club level when you play your first game, you just want to get and play your second game and hopefully with a team with a 50th cap is great, but the first 20 or 50th, they all feel the same. I'm massively proud to play for my country and uh, great, great milestone, but uh, it's the same as every other game for me. When did you last play a competitive game on an artificial pitch? Uh, probably, I'd say maybe three, three seasons ago, we played uh, Young Boys in the Europa League and uh, played them away. And um, yeah, it is different, but we're all we're all professional footballers. We all have to adapt, and I'm sure all of us at some stage have played in, on that surface. And we need to make sure we're good enough and, and ready to do so. And you've got plastic surface, haven't you, at Abbottstown? Have you been using that quite a lot this week? And is that any way to prepare to the you know how close to the, the real thing would it be? Yeah, we've been over. We've had a feel for it, and um, look, it's it's different to a grass pitch as everyone knows, and the ball will. Will act differently on that surface, but uh, we're prepared. You know, it's the same for them, and uh, we're we're really looking forward to the game now. And you know, we can't wait to get started. And can I just quickly ask you about John Walters? I don't know if you are aware that he's retired from football. You obviously know him pretty well. Yeah, he just came in yesterday and, and let a few of us know. And you know, as long as he's been in the squad now, been in the squad, he's been nothing short of an example to, to all of us. You know, the pride every time he's played for his country has been uh, inspirational, to be honest. And you know these new lads coming in the squad uh, in the next few years. It, he's a real example, and um, people like him will be massively missed. Mick, it's always sad to see old timers go, isn't it, at this level, at any level? I'm sure, appreciate that old timer. <laughs> Obviously, 34. <laughs> Not 35. Uh, it is sad to see them go, but it happens to all of us, and to the to the best of the players that have been around. And I've just reiterated what Shams has just said actually that. Uh, he was an inspirational player for Ireland. It's sad when you lose those kind of players. And it's even sadder still when it causes injury that he's not just decided to pack in because he's, he thinks he can't compete at the level against his injury. Uh, but uh, I know we're supporting us, we're wishing us all well. So I wish him well in whatever he chooses to do. Seamus, has, has this felt like a, a new start this week? Has, have you spoken about that as, as a group? Uh, leaving the negativity of the end of last year behind and starting afresh? Uh, anytime uh, a new manager comes in and there's been a, new fa a few new faces come in as well, you're, you're so eager to impress. I think the first few days were so hectic, lads were desperately trying to impress, which is a good sign and um, the positivity around the place has been great and as I said, we're all massively looking forward to the game and what, what's massively important is that we win the game as well and um, that's what keeps the positivity high. The win is obviously all important, but style of play and dominating possession and getting control of the game a bit more than maybe at the end of the last campaign, is is that something you're you're keen to get on top of? Uh, you know, the, the last campaign is gone now, this is a, a fresh campaign and we're, we're looking forward to what's ahead of us now and yeah, uh, winning games is what we all want to do, that's what the manager wants to do and as players, that's what we want to do and we've had the Euros before and to qualify for any major tournament for your country is massive and that starts uh, tomorrow night and whether that's 10% uh, possession or 70% possession, I just want to win the football game. Mick, you've obviously I said Seamus is going to start tomorrow. When, when do you let everybody know exactly what the team is? Uh, when I decide to, I'm not going to tell them because some of you might be tweeting or texting them or ringing them out on the run, trying to see if they can get a little sniff from any of your pals that have been speaking to so and so. But they will know certainly before tomorrow. Might email them while they're all in bed so they get it first in the morning. <laughs> Mick. I know what you like, you'll all be on your match, you're not going to get killed by an image. Don't give me all that. I'll, I'll let him know in good time, don't worry. He knows anyway, so he's playing. Mick, I was going to ask, um, obviously new sets of players, new proper players as well, both experienced and young. How have you felt, have the team have wandered on and off the pitch? 
How was the bonded? Yeah, on and off the pitch. Oh, they were. Oh, so you're travelling back and forth. I think the most of them have been together for quite a while, but there's yeah. been some other youngsters who have come in. Uh, certainly Jack Byrne and Josh Cullen. Oh, James Collins is not a youngster, but he's, he's, he's not been in the uh, first team squad. Yeah, they've all come in and really the great lads. I mean, everybody said I've spoken to before. I get that. And you know what? Football was generally out the bomb pretty quickly. James just said they, train, they were training probably over the top the first two days. Every time they get a touch, all running around, all trying to impress, all eager to impress in front of me because they want to play in the team. Off the pitch, I just think they're a great bunch of lads and going really well. So fine, no problem. Me. Mick, you mentioned earlier in the week that you've you've got nearly a thousand games and you've had as, in, as a manager and a coach. Do you still get excited or nervous when it comes to a big game like this? Yes, the uh, the butterfly is there already, actually. Just starting. It's uh, not because I'm in here speaking to this uh, exalted company, believe me. Although it's part of it. It's 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 part of the build up to the game. It's getting closer and closer. So yes, I am. I have got that feeling, and I'm glad I have. If I lose that, then there'll be something wrong. That's been with me from the first game I ever played.